hello guys welcome back to today's video on how to lose Thai fat so in today's video I have three steps that you could take at the moment to actually reduce Thai fat So the first thing you want to have in mind is actually losing weight by using cardio and this has to do with doing any exercise that increases your heart rate. Things like jump to a touch, you know, high kneel, skipping, just go get skipping rope at home. Use that and you can even uh, have a dance uh, video that you could play all the time to really dance and burn calorie. That's the first way you do cardio and this is aimed at actually helping you lose weight first but now we're going to also go in detail on how to be losing the weight and be losing it more on the Thai side next step you want to take with reducing your Thai gap is to do targeted exercises what do I mean by this simple there are exercises that target the area just like you do ab exercises there are specific ab exercises like crunch is the popular sit up is the popular ab exercise in this case you're doing targeted leg exercises and here are a few of my targeted leg exercises i have the first one here is ply squat so this one is very very essential in terms of losing Thai fat because it helps work the legs in a way that it makes them want to reduce so now why is this very important you are converting those fat to muscles so when you convert them to muscles they will, you, you have a lean muscles and that's the intent of doing this targeted workouts you don't want to have a flabby big fat over there but you want to have a lean skin next exercise you also want to do is leg stretches whichever way you comfortable you can stretch your leg just go at your own pace you don't have to be perfect the way you're seeing it here in the video you just need to go at your own pace and slowly your leg will start stretching all those fat and then burning them and you're losing the fat on those uh, leg and uh, those uh, ties next one you also want to do is leg scissor this one helps a lot to tone and you know frame up those muscles on that area so basically what you do on this exercise is just to lie down on the floor and when you you're lying on the floor you try to raise your leg off the ground while your body is on the floor I mean your trunk the back is on the floor then repeat the moves as many times as you could I'm not giving you numbers but I'm saying that you should always train to failure so next move you want to do is jump jack squat this is one of my favorite all body workout so this exercise works on both increasing your whole body heart rate at the same time it works on the tie like crazy so it's a good exercise to incorporate for anybody who wants to lose weight at the same time build lean muscles next exercise is a lunge pause so you want to do this is a must honestly a lunge pause is one that tones and makes those tie look a lot tighter and slimmer and looking beautiful so the next exercise is a, a bridge abduction this one can dry your nash as well so if you're looking at tie reduction and nash reduction sorry what I mean by Nash is the bots. Sorry, at a local language we have here. I'm so sorry about that. I mean, it can dry up your bot as well. So you can include this in your workout. Remember, the only reason these workouts are drying your bot and all that is because you might see that in my other bot building videos is because your aim here is to reduce the fat on the bomb bomb. And I said that to reduce the fat on the bomb bomb, you need to develop lean muscle. Now, since you're losing weight you're already on a calorie deficit you will be losing the weight on your thigh unlike when you're trying to build up you need to be on a gain you have to be eating more and specific food or not you know any food you can eat at the moment you just need to be on a calorie deficit eat your normal meal but just to lose weight you know there are so many food that has, has high calorie you just want to cut down on those ones that has high calorie and eat more on those that do not have much calorie 
so this is the targeted exercises that i will recommend you do the final tips i have for you guys is the fact that you need to stay away from stress because this also boils down to you losing weight the more stressed you are the more you're going to feel like eating the more food you eat the more fat you're going to gain so even while you're doing the cardio and doing all the whole exercise and yet you're consuming more than you are working because definitely if you have a high stress level you want to consume anything that comes your way and your workout level might not even be equivalent to burn more than you're eating so eventually you end up being the same size so you want to reduce your stress level which eventually regulates your appetite and uh, the, the well regulated your appetite definitely you're going to start losing weight and weight and next thing is also the estrogen level your stress level also affects your estrogen so in general it's mostly experiencing a, a, a body recomposition that will help you lose fat so I have some few food I would recommend you eat they help regulate your estrogen level in the body some also reduces it so I will list them in my blog post with this video the link will be in the description box for you to check out I'll list a few of them there so definitely check it out so guys that's where we caught it for this video was this video informative enough did you get anything out of it definitely leave me a thumbs up and share this video if you're new here on the channel welcome my name is abigail aka and yes i make videos like this so subscribe and turn on the notification beside it so you get updated when i post videos thank you for watching